everyone, I guess you could say this is the final tutorial. Now, I know in other videos I said this was the final tutorial. It's... Uh, technically, it's not tutorial. Now, someone asked to see a trail system, and I recently discovered that the one I tried... I've already recorded this video, but the one that I tried did not actually work. So... I, I just tried for hours off camera trying to fix it, and I just couldn't get it to work. So, because I can't actually do trail systems, I've never done one in my life. So, what I'm actually going to do is put in the description. I'm not going to have anything in the description. Well, no, I am. Uh, but let me rephrase that. I'm going to have the same description as always, but in the description, I'm going to put the first link as a link to the YouTube video um, that I just found just before I started recording this and it's got a free model in there I tested it and it all works and it saves and everything now yes I know it's a free model I'm sorry it's because I don't actually know what I'm doing but I promise it works well it worked for me and it's got no viruses or anything and you can easily just change all the UI no one would, you know, you can either keep it and credit them, which, yeah, you should credit them. You should always credit people's tools. But, yeah, uh, you can you can easily change all the UI. So, all you've got to do, really, on it is just change the UI layout. Apart from that, it's already done for you. So, yeah, if you want to do this, go check out the tutorial uh, that I've linked at the top. And they've got a model in their tutorial. So sorry that I couldn't figure this out this out for you lot. I'm just not very advanced. Uh, it's really if it was like Unity C Sharp or something like that, I'd be able to do it. But I just can't do it on Roblox Studio because so I'm just not that advanced. So sorry about that, everyone. I know this isn't exactly the most professional kind of video, but you know, sometimes people can't do everything, you know. So as I said, I've linked. That's enough, you know, stuttering or whatever for me. So, I've linked the video, which you lot can watch, and they've got a free toolbox model on there, uh, which is their own, you're allowed to use it, but you might just want to change all the UI, just so to, to kind of the start of your game. Sorry about that everyone, but thank you for watching the series and sticking around. It's actually been really appreciated, I'm sorry that this couldn't exactly be the best video for a final tutorial, but you know, it's not really a tutorial. But thanks everyone for watch for your amazing support in this series. And I will see you in the next series as always. And the next series, hopefully we're not going to have videos like this. But thank you everyone, and I'm very, very sorry. Do stick around though everyone, because I'm about to show you how to implement this into our thing. So what you want to do is go watch their video, type everything out or whatever, or just get their model. Now obviously we've credited them and everything. Uh, if they're watching this, uh, we have credited you, by the way. And all I'm going to do now is show you like how to implement this into our speed simulator. So let's get into it. Okay, so now what you want, first of all, obviously you want to go to the toolbox, implement their trail shop. Once again, credit to you, sub to H2R, HTR, sorry and everything and we'll obviously go through and uh, sort it all out um, credit you all for it in the description now we're going to drag the trailer plier into the server script service I've already got uh, one there for some reason oh yeah because I was trying it earlier to make sure it worked now we're going to drag the trails into replicate storage along with the trail selected RE uh, they, they've already put trails in here for us if you want to make your own, you can. But we're then going to drag in the trial GUI to start a GUI. And the only problem is we're going to go into our trial applier. And we don't need to make our local money. We can remove that. Same here. So let's go through all this. We want all this. Uh, we don't need... Yep, yeah, we need... So we can get rid of that money. We can get rid of that money. Cause anything money related we don't need. We don't need to make new leader stats. Uh, anything else related to money? Uh, local money equals player dot stats, and then we called ours coins. So that's what we're gonna have to put here, coins. And I think that's basically it. Yep. So now it should all work. Let's give it a go. I I, I don't think it actually saves because our st my studio is glitched on here, but you know we can see. That's working. Got that many. 
there we go boom 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 let's just buy everything shall we there we go we bought everything let's equip green I don't know if it does save in my studio I know it does um, but it's quite glitchy in my studio so not, stuff doesn't always save oh wow it did actually save awesome so it does save and everything so as you can see that is the trial system we've obviously that's how you implement it into our speed simulator because it's slightly different now obviously we've I've, I've said this about a hundred times we have credited the creator of this please go subscribe to them and like their video because they are the one that made this whole video basically we're just explaining how to put it in so please go subscribe like their video and that's it from me, so thank you for watching this, sorry that it wasn't exactly the normal kind of video. Uh, we could actually go and move this UI over there, but I'm not going to worry about that now. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next series as always, goodbye.